Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for week one of the WPL, the Western Pokemon League, and we are up against that guy Adam and the Manchester Skarmories, whose team consists of Jirachi, Alone Nine Tails, Needle King, Rotom He, Excelgor, Trevident, Megalitaria, Gyarados, Scrafty, um, uh, uh, <laughs> Breloom, and Metagross, with the Z captains being Jirachi and Metagross and his overall uh, Z Captain Gyarados with so like Metagross and Jirachi are offensive. My team consists of uh, Dragonite, Necrozma, and Polyon, Rose Raid, Savali, Zep Striker, Megalopony, Darmana, Tan, Hoopa, and Bound, Cuffe, and Swamper. Offensive Z users being Dragonite and Necrozma, and overall Z user being Hoopa and Bound. So if you want to go into in depth of what my team was for this week, uh, Definitely go, uh, definitely check out the team battle. It's in the link in below. It went up yesterday, so that should be you should definitely go check that out. Though, um, so let's go into the team I'm bringing. Uh, well, I'll go into a brief little like thing about like what I'm bringing this week. So, in this, I have a Megalopony, um, which is Fake Out, Return, High Jump Kick, and Quick Attack. Um, adamant pretty much, uh, max attack kind of thing. Uh, Roserade was a Spikes, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and Sludge Bomb set. Um, with like max special attack and a decent amount of speed. Um, then there is also the Darmanitan, which is Choice Scarf. With U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, Yawn. I didn't need anything else other than Flare Blitz or Rock Slide really to hit his entire team. Except for Mega Altaria, which is Yawn. Because uh, Darm can't really hit that as, as well. So Then we got... Empoleon here with Flash Cannon, our Defog, Scald, Roar with Leftovers. Uh, pretty much very defensive to take on uh, D Dance Mega Terrier with Earthquake. And uh, then there's Necrozma, which is Moonlight, Stealth Rock, Photon Geyser, a knockoff with Mind Plate. Um, very, uh, more physically offensive, enough speed to outspeed uh, Breloom at max speed. And then there's Swampert that is a very, very physically defensive set with Protect Earth Power Skull Roar for Jirachi. Uh, and to take on a decent amount of his team. So let's get into this match we have. He ends up bringing Jirachi, Mega Altaria, Excelgor, Rotom, Heat, Metagross, and Gyarados. And right off the bat, I want to lead with um, the Crossma because I see that his only two hazard movers are Mega Altaria and Rotom, Heat. And Rotom, Heat is going to take 25% for rocks every time it comes in. So that's really good, good to know. And Rox is really good against him for uh, for Megalopony and Darm to put in an absolute finest work. So I'm gonna lead off with the Crosma here, as he leads off with Rotom Heat, and I'm just gonna go for a Stealth Rox. Uh, even if he, I believe he's Choice, well, depending on his set, I could have like, oh, if he's Choice Specs, I can make the obvious switch out into like uh, Darm or Swampert. So I'm not really worried about if he's Choice Specs because it's not gonna open me I think from this. But I get my rocks up. And it shows up he's not really that offensive with the uh, Rotom Heat. I can get off a pretty free Moonlight. As he goes for Defog, revealing that he actually is his Defogger is right here. So I'm just going to keep, keep getting up rocks because if he wants to keep going for Defog, that's fine. Uh, he goes for another Overheat, drops himself low, uh, lower. So I get rocks again. And I'm just going to fire off a Photon Geyser here. Because um, uh, if he goes for Defog, I want to get some chip off on this thing. And he decides to go for the Volt Switch, and, some, and like, Sogor is not going to let a hit from this. This thing is a powerful Photon Geyser right here. Oof, just gone. Like, Sogor is just gone, and that's amazing for me, as he's going to go into Metagross here. And I want to get a knockoff off to see what item it is, just in case he's like uh, a Fire uh, Aqua Berry kind of thing, so he can Revenge Darm, um, something like that. And I also can figure out if he's Z Crystal or not, because I'm expecting Z Crystal to be on Gyarados, but there's always a chance that it could be on Metagross instead. So he goes for Meteor Mash, tells me very physically offensive, I guess, and I go for a uh, knockoff. And at this point, I realized um, he's he's Z Crystal, so I don't know which Z he is, but he's definitely Z Crystal Metagross. So at this point, I I there's the least important mod. I'm just gonna try to get into Rose right here and just get up a spike, and I can bring in Darm here. Uh, that's the plan. So I'm just going to go into Roserade here. Um, and it's not going to take this Meteor Mash well. But still, at this point, um, I think Bullet Punch was a roll to take me out. I would have to check the Calc. Um, but 
I believe it was a roll, if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, because it was, uh, uh, Rose Raid isn't that, uh, uh, that, like, it doesn't have that, it has terrible, uh, defensive bulk, I, I, to be honest, but he, um, even though that's maybe true, I, I would think that he would be able to live a hit here. So, um, but there's all, it depends on his set as I'm brought up to 32%, so he would need to get like a, a near more offensive role because I believe he's Jolly Metagross, and that means that he had to get a, a higher role to take me out with Roserade, I think. So I'm gonna go for a spike. Um, if he clicks Ball Punch, he gets the roll, that's perfectly fine. I could go into Darm and just revenge something. Um, and if he wants to actually like let this thing go, uh, like I mean, and if he doesn't want to go for the bull punch, he just doesn't want to risk the roll. He could go for the meteor mash instead, and I get up a spike for free, and that means Darm comes in anyway. So um, he goes for the bull punch, he gets the roll, that's fine. Um, I'm saying that Rosary didn't do anything this match, and I even set up a spike, but I get to go into Darm here. And I'm gonna just flare blitz. Um, nothing's taking two hits from this, I think. Um, except for maybe Mega Altaria, but I'm not sure after Rocks because uh, he's not Mega Evolved yet. So that's a that's like taking like he. I don't think it'll take two hits here, uh, even if he's max defense uh, Mega Altaria. So he's going to Rotom Heat. He's gonna sack off Rotom Heat because this thing is gonna get blown back here. Forty three percent to that. Uh, this thing is pretty much a dead Rotom Heat here, and um, Darmanitan is so scary for him. Um, at this point, he brings in Gyarados. And he's Moxie, right? So, I was thinking that he would make the play for D-Dance here. Um, and this is where I was debating, because I could have gone Swamper here. Or, I could have gone Swamper pretty easily here. Or, Empoleon. But, at this point, I mean, Dom is very good for the rest of the game, but I didn't want Gyarados to get like a free D-Dance dance off, because I know he's Moxie at this moment. And... Darm if he goes for the D-Dance, Gyarados is dead, because I get I outspeed him right now, get the Flare Blitz off, he goes for D-Dance, I still outspeed him because I'm Choice Scarf, and I get off another Flare Blitz, and this is a dead Gyarados. So I just had to stay in and go for Flare Blitz, predicting him to go for the Dragon Dance, and he doesn't actually he doesn't over predict and he makes the correct play. Goes for the waterfall, um, takes out my Darm. That's that's perfectly fine because I get to bring a Megalopony here and revenge something for free. As I get to pull off a return right now. As he gets a Moxie boost, that's fine. As I said before, I get to go into Megalopony and click return. And that's a dead Gyarados. And at this point, I believe he goes Mega Altaria here. Um, which is fine. And I'm going to go to, into my designated switch right now to Empoleon. Um, to Because that's my designated Mon for Mega Altaria. He goes for the... Uh, he Mega Evolves and goes for the Hyper Voice. That's fine. I'm going to fire off a Skull predicting the switch because Mega Terry, I just don't think it's going to stay in here. Um, if I get the burn of Mega Terry, that's perfectly fine too. Even though it's not physically offensive, getting some chip on that would be nice. Uh, but I'm expecting Jirachi or Metagross to come in right now as he actually swoops here. As I go to Flash Can uh, for Scald and I get the burn here, I believe. Yeah, I get the burn. Get some chip damage, that's fine. I want to fire off a Flash Cannon then because I, I have a feeling he's just going to keep staying in then at this point. As he reveals the Heal Bell, so he's Heal Bell Roost Hyper Voice so far. So I know pretty much three quarters of his, of his set. And I'm expecting like a fire or some sort of weird last move set. As he goes for a Roost and I'm just going for a Flash Cannon. That's pretty much, this pretty much is a dead on Mega Altaria. Even if I didn't get the Spadef drop, there was only a matter of time because I was doing more than he was doing with Roost. Um, so, it was just a, a matter of how many times he would want to take it. So, he, <laughs> that's a dead Mega Altaria. He brings in Metagross, which is very, which is surprising because I'm just going to stay in here with Empoleon. Um, Empoleon, I don't really have that much use between the last two months, and I'd rather just keep Swampert around for Jirachi here. So I'm just going to fire off a Scald. He goes for the Meteor Mask, just absolutely nothing because it is two times resisted right now. And I get a Scald off. Doesn't get the burn, but that's fine. Um, and I'm surprised he didn't go for a Z-Move here or something like that, but he does just decide to go for the Meteor Mash. And that is going to be a dead Metagross. Maybe he was Grass Z for like uh, Swampert, but I don't know. As Empoleon just takes out, <laughs> claims another kill as this bulky wall is insane. He goes into Jirachi, and this is going to be really annoying because he's just going to be uh, wasting turns as he's going to try to stall me out. But 
re in reality, he's actually gonna get try to get he's gonna get PP stalled if he keeps playing like this. As he's just gonna go for the Iron Heads. Does four percent. Um, I'm he, he's getting like a net of two percent or one percent, so it's not looking good for him. <laughs> as I'm gonna get a Fiscald and I'm hoping to try to get a burn because once I get a burn, this game uh, this game is pretty much over. Even even though it's like it's gonna be a four hour if I get the burn. Um, so. I'm gonna go for the Scald again. He goes for Wish, revealing that he actually is a Wish set. Um, so that's very interesting to know. He goes for Protect, and uh, he's gonna try to waste out turns, but he doesn't realize that I have four Mons left, and I'm just I could just switch between Swampert and Empoleon at this point because I know pretty much his entire set. Um, I think at this point he was, and I get the burn here anyway. So it's not really like now this thing is doing nothing to me. I'm back up to full anyway. So I'm just gonna go out to Swamper here, uh, make some switches around. He goes for the wish. He's trying to stall out some stuff, and I'm. This is gonna be a really long game, so I'm just gonna skip through this as he's just gonna wish protect, and I'm just gonna keep uh, Earth Power and kind of thing. I finally get this Pedef drop, and I move out to Necrozma here, um, making this uh, prediction for the protect. As he, because uh, that means that he will be able to live another Earth Power, and I get to go off for knockoff here to get rid of his leftovers and pretty much end this game um, right here. If I don't get flinch again, and I don't, good thing, and knockoff does a lot, and I get to switch back into Swamper, and this game is over. Oh, <sighs> that game could was so much longer than it could have been, that should have been because of the Drachi, and he was just trying to, I guess, waste a lot more turns. And make this video a lot longer but we're gonna shorten it because uh, we I do not want I don't think anybody wants to watch him just try to pretty much stall Swampert um, but that's GG uh, we move on to 1-0 plus 4 so that looks amazing for us we are taking on Rudiger, or Rudiger next week so that should be interesting um, but uh, I'm pretty hyped about this week one uh, could have played a little bit better like I could have if I saved Darm that game that game could have been so much more differently uh like Darm could have gotten so many more kills but at this point like I I didn't think I think I still think I made the correct play because if he went for a D dance because that could have been kind of scary um even though Empoleon and Swamper were so healthy at this moment I could have like sacked off like uh, like if he got the Moxie boost that could have been like with a D dance up that could have been terrifying um but and, and I realized that if he went for the D-Nance here, uh, Darm just claimed another kill. So I think that was a, that was a good play. I think Darm, uh, staying with Darm right there was still a good play. I still stand by that play, but um, it just worked out for him for that situation. But we do move, to, uh, as I said before, we do move on to 1-0, and, and that's pretty exciting. And hopefully um, we pull out another dub next week. Uh, <laughs> def uh, as I said before, definitely go check out the Team Boater. And I believe I put the WP uh, Western Pokemon League's Twitter in the description below. Definitely go check it out. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty sick. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Dash.